What fictional character do you hate with every fiber of your being? Rickexplode from Invincible. Every immature blowhard I've ever had to work with all in one. Commander Fox, that filthy MF. Mu Ash from the Stormlight Archive. Sakura from Naruto if you know who she is you know why. That selfish businessman from Train to Busan. Katsuki Bakugo, the most obnoxious character ever. I can't enjoy anything when he's on screen. Clapping hands, fucking clapping hands, Mika, clapping hands, Bell, clapping hands. Max and Caroline from Two Broke Girls. I never ever enjoyed the show, but it was one of those things that always managed to be on the TV in the break room at work, in the doctor's waiting room, at the dentist's office, at the oil change place. I must have been paying off a heavy karmic debt from a previous life. Max just needed to shut the fuck up. She isn't clever. She isn't funny. She isn't some firebrand, sassy girl. She's just a massively annoying pain in the neck pest who is desperate to get someone, anyone, to tell her she's witty. She never seemed to stop talking. Caroline is a rich airhead. Oh my god, what a weird concept. A rich, stupid blonde girl. Never seen that one before. Also, Phoebe from Friends. Princess can swell a banana hammock. Ha ha, you're so quirky and out there. Nurse Ratched. Warner Huntington 3. Basing him off his character in the musical rather than the movie, but I'd imagine both are equally shitty. Robbie from Cobra Kai. There's plenty as I read lots of books and webtoons trash to and so be shit from the remarried Empress Veronica's sister in Crown of Feathers Broken Star and Apple Dusk from Warriors as well at many more honestly there's a lot of characters I hate but the list is too long so that's what you have. Mark Jefferson from Life is Strange. Officer Tenpenny. People who play GTA San Andreas will understand this one. David Palmer's wife in 24. If I met the actress that plays her in real life I'd be funny with her that's how much I hate her. Rachel from Tower of God. Unbridgeable from Harry Potter. There's not much I can say, other than, I want her to die. Marie from Breaking Bad. The resourceful rat from Enter the Gungeon, that son of a bitch wants to gank my shit I'll gank his life. Dolores Sumbridge. Scarlett O'Hara. Big Hero 6. So from Hollow Knight Nazim and his wife from Skyrim as well as Delphine and 99.8% of all Tsunias in any show, game, anime, movie, or book. Ready for down votes, Garfield. Seriously. I just don't understand the appeal. Robert California. God. Marla Grayson from I Care A Lot. Ponkerel. The soldiers that beat John Dunbar and kill Sisko and two socks in Dances with Wolves. Grandpa Joe from the original Willy Wonka. Kendra Daniels from Dead Space F hash percent King Traitor. It was funny when the hive mind ripped her apart. Daily a fucking Hawthorne from Persona. My rectum twists itself a little each time I think about her. Other cuntastic bitches, Mrs. Carmody from The Mist, Margaret White and Chris Hargensin from Carrie, and Billy in the book, every adult in IT, Gerald Valkyrie from Bleach, all of the Otsutsuki from Naruto, everyone and everything from Baruto, except Delta, Yukitaru Amano from Future Diary, Uemas friends from Zeal, Umbridge, the aunt from Sleepaway Camp, Leela from Dexter, Peter Pan from Watt, Zerif and Acnologia from Fairy Tale. Mr. Barrow from Downton Abbey. I hate that smug little prick. Bellatrix from Harry Potter was the top ass hat. Endeavor from My Hero Academia. Soapbox that no one will see incoming. This fucking bastard forced a woman into a marriage with him. She was not happy, and it is more than likely that he raped her. He abused his children and threw them by the wayside when they weren't the perfect little quirk users he was imagining. When Todoroki showed promise, he beat him, belittles him, and abandoned his other children completely. He pushed his wife to extreme hatred. And while she is the one who hurt Todoroki, she was physically and emotionally abused for years. Then, 
The show itself hand waves abuse and explains that he's not that bad because he remembers his wife's favorite flower and sends it to her on her birthday. It also frames that he is learning about how bad a person he is by putting his life on the line against a villain. Wow! Like every other hero in the show. I know my hero academia isn't known for any nuance at all, but holy shit. This just hand waves and normalizes abuse. Fuck Endeavor. If you mean hate cause they are badly written then MJ from the Rhymey Spider-Man trilogy. If you mean hate because they are bad people then the Fire Lord from Avatar The Last Airbender. Lysander. Fuck him. Haiji Tao from Ultra Despair Girls, if you played it already I don't need to explain but basically he is a pedo and abusive also he kinda just whines for the whole game. The kids from Walking Dead World Beyond. It just irritates me so much that they've been on the road for months during the zombie apocalypse and they don't have a speck of dirt on the same clothes they've been wearing every damn day. Let's also not forget how the girls have perfectly applied makeup and perfectly styled hair that most women would have to go to a salon for before the apocalypse. Eric Cartman. Micah Bell. Marie Schrader and Skylar White from Breaking Bad. No one here disagrees with me so I won't elaborate. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh what am I saying, of course you don't. Arturo Archerito Roman. No need to further explain. La Casa de Papel, Money Heist. Porco Ballard from Moat. I don't actually know anything about him, just that he killed Emir. I heard about that and I still haven't watched further into the series. Apparently his death was supposed to be tragic but I felt like it was my fucking birthday when I got word of his death. That Nazi from Schindler's List. Patrick from Spongebob. Katsuki Bakugo. He's so overrated. Sailor Moon, found her really annoying and whiny. Dolores Sumbridge. God damn, that little giggle she does, the overt racism against muggle-borns and non-human species, the overall vibe arsenic she releases. Fucking hate her. Jesus from the Bible. Clint from Stardew Valley. Incel Creep. Griffith from Berserk. Any anime character. Floyd from 30 Rock. I mean he and Liz break up, he comes back to stay at her place, and then he fakes a flight so that he doesn't have to deal with her anymore? Yeesh. Jimmy Besto from Bob's Burgers. Guy is a major boz. Heisenberg from REA just annoys me and I'd guy. Olaf the Snowman. Can't fucking turn around in Walmart without seeing his shit-eating grin. Sylvanas Windrunner. She uses her trauma as an excuse for war crimes. Unpopular opinion. Walt White. Rewatched Breaking Bad for the third or fourth time? Either way every time I do I see the show from the brand new perspective. But season 4 to 5 Walt I hate. Look at everything that has happened to Jesse. Walt's fault. His family? His fault I can go on. The dude in train to Poo-san. Jesse from Breaking Bad. He was such a fucking idiot, don't draw attention by spending money, what does he fucking do, don't do this, he fucking does it. Literally every major problem stems from his idiot I see. Catherine Pierce from Vampire Diaries. Almost every character from the Big Bang Theory, the main cast is either creepy, pompous, or both. Light Yagumi from Death Note. A love of shit. Dolores Sumbridge. The cousin of that boy in the movie Gran Torino. Spoilers. Rashtu and Sovishu from Remarried Empress. Sis showed up out of nowhere, becomes the Emperor's, Sovishu's, mistress, and ends up pregnant. The Emperor is married mind you. And Sis has the audacity to say, why is that maid looking at my man like that your man? Sovishu divorces the Empress by claiming she's infertile. His plan is to make Rash to Empress long enough to make her baby the heir and then is gonna remarry the Empress. Doesn't think Empress will like. Leave him? She does anyways. Turns out the baby isn't even his and he's the one that's infertile. 
Empress remarries into a neighboring kingdom, so Vishu has the audacity to say, why would you betray me like this like Mans wasn't the one that divorced her. Spoilers. Rush to and so Vishu from remarried Empress. Sis showed up out of nowhere, becomes the Emperor's, so Vishu's, mistress, and ends up pregnant. The Emperor is married mind you. And Sis has the audacity to say, why is that maid looking at my man like that your man? So Vishu divorces the Empress by claiming she's infertile. His plan is to make Rash to Empress long enough to make her baby the heir and then is gonna remarry the Empress. Doesn't think Empress will like. Leave him? She does anyways. Turns out the baby isn't even his and he's the one that's infertile. Empress remarries into a neighboring kingdom, so Vishu has the audacity to say, why would you betray me like this like Mans wasn't the one that divorced her.